my name is Alan Howling and I work for Jaguar Land Rover as a research engineer. I'm fairly new to the role, um, but it involves um, working on show cars and technology demonstrators and new technologies and bringing them forward to get onto the cars. I always liked sciences and things like that. I mean, back at the GCSEs, um, obviously you have to do your basic sciences and what maths and everything, um, and then go on. And the options I chose were like business studies and IT and geography happened to be an interest. Um, and then from that, when I started my A-levels, um, it was science-based, very much science-based, and it was something that interested me. Um, but again, a lot of it was electrical side of things. The physics is electrical and stuff, and that, that was a, a big interest outside as well. I enjoyed school. It was good. Um, I achieved good grades at GCSE and A-level, and didn't want to carry on through the normal progression as everyone gets channeled through um, A-levels and then university, coming out at the end of it with a degree but no future as, as much. You don't know where to go from there. Um, so I decided that I'd look for alternatives. There was some guidance offered. Most of it was just pointing you directly towards university. That's what schools want. They want you to do A-levels and go to uni. There is some alternatives. There are some ideas of other colleges and whatnot. Virtually no information at all about apprenticeships. Um, I had to find out for myself. From, it was an advert in a local paper. There were 600 people applied, and I was one of 39 that got on. Well, the first year is solid at college, um, so you're doing hands-on skills, turning, milling, fitting, things like that, as well as a bit of further education. And then you go to day release, so you end up, you're based at um, work, at your department, or moving around a number of departments, getting a feel for the company. At the same time, you're doing further education um, to improve your technical knowledge as well. I came out with a foundation degree, um, as well as MVQs, the apprenticeship was four years, with one year solid and then three years worth of day release. The foundation degree part was the final two years. I've had a wage all the time I've been doing it. I've been paid to get a foundation degree and then I've then had to reapply since I've been out of my time um, to finish off my degree and the company has actually sponsored me through my full degree now as well. I mean, as an apprentice, we were on a, a good wage, a very good wage, particularly for apprentices. Um, and every year we got a pay rise, provided you met your reasonable targets um, and completed the work you were expected to do. You got your pay rises and you worked on through the company and worked your way up. They get some idea of what you're interested in and some idea of what makes you work, what makes you tick. Um, for me it was electrical and want to be an electrician of some description and then from there they then put you into a suitable pathway um, and then finally they pick the job role for you. They can't guarantee you a job role at the end of it um, but I think just about everyone got a job. There was only a couple of people that didn't, and some of those were because they decided to drop out because they didn't. It wasn't what wasn't for them. It wasn't what they wanted to do. Um, everyone that wanted a job and worked hard got a job. My dad uh, used to be a mechanic. He's retired now. He's always been interested in cars, and there's always been cars around. So it's that's definitely been an interest of mine for years. I think you've got to enjoy your job. If you don't enjoy it, then it becomes a chore to go to work and whatnot, you know. You want to find something that's, uh, that's yeah, you enjoy, that you want to do, um, that makes you want to get out of bed in the morning and go and do it. I work in the Design Enabling Technology team, um, so that's a small team of us, and we've all got different strengths, um, and we all do different things. We get information filtered down from designers of the sort of things they want to see on cars, the sort of things that we're interested just new things that, that they fancy, as well as doing some research of our own and seeing what's, what's out there. I've recently just finished a project uh, for an all-new Jaguar, and that was a technology demonstrator, so we fitted all new technology to it. We had to work long hours trying to get this car finished, um, and then showed it to the uh, seniors um, who really liked it, and then from there they'll then make the decision whether what technologies will go ahead. It's, you know, if the research department doesn't keep coming up with ideas, then the, we stop getting new things on our cars and the competitors pull ahead. It's all about trying to keep ahead of competition. The best decision of my, I ever made was joining the apprenticeship and working my way through, definitely.